And I always look at like, what is the culture of that project? What's the culture of the site? We're all part of this moving organism that is the construction project. I mean, it sounds cliche, but it's not. It truly is the most important part of what we do today and moving forward into the future. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Pieper. This is the Real MFR series. And today I have Matt Vetter with me from Shape for Construction. And we're talking about team building. As far as teamwork goes, it, it is our company. It is, it is the only thing that makes Schaefer Construction. Um, and was it there before I came? Probably. We were, we were a much smaller outfit. Um, we're still fairly small. There's six of us in total. Uh, when I started, there was, there was two, uh, the owner and, and an office manager. So teamwork was always there, but I don't think it was was vocalized quite as much. Um, I yell and scream a lot and, and post all kinds of things on, on social media. So I think I brought that aspect to it, but you know, the, the, the basic core values were, were there. They just weren't quite as well defined as they may be now. How do you think your uh, approach to team building has really led to your success or, you know, some people might say only six of you, but there's really two from going from two to six is really 300% growth. It's core values. 100%. And, you know, I've, I've talked about this a lot on, on my own podcast. I talk about it in our meetings. I've been interviewed about it before. I mean, it sounds cliche, but it's not. It, it, it truly is the most important part of what we do. And that reliance on our core values has really made it almost, almost roadmapped how to grow our team from, from two to where we are today and, and moving forward into the future. So one interesting thing that I think is a challenge that might be a little more unique to construction is culture and team building is, is hard enough within your own organization. And it takes a lot of work over a long period of time, typically. Um, and you can control which people you bring inside your own organization. You know, when you're managing a construction project and you're the general contractor, you have a lot of people moving inside of that project. And there's a lot of people in one confined area and I always look at like, what is the culture of that project? What's the culture of the site? And, you know, you can really dictate a lot of that, good or bad. How do you take the stuff that you do inside Shaper and bring that onto the site too, so that everyone that you're working with, vendors, subcontractors, and your own team and employees can share that, those same team building and core values? I don't want to swear too much, but basically we, we don't hire assholes. You know, we, we've worked with our team as, as I call it, our, our team expands far beyond the doors of the walls of Schaefer Construction. Our team is, is every single subcontractor partner we have on, on jobs, every supplier, every vendor, uh, really every client at the end of the day. We're, we're all part of this, this moving organism that, that is the construction project. So we've known and we've worked with a lot of our, our guys, our, our team for 20 plus years. We have very good relationships. We, we know what their values are. And it just comes down to that. If, if, you're, if your values as a sub or as a, as a vendor or whoever, or even as a, as a prospective client, if they are diametrically opposed to, to our values, it's not going to work. The relationship will never foster and, and we just don't get involved in that. So it's, it's tough to, to kind of herd everyone on a job site, you know, when, when you have hundreds of people running around. But at least at the upper levels of the, the companies that we team and we partner with, you know, all of our values are, are close enough that, that we mesh pretty well together. Um, like it's, it's in construction. There's, there's conflicts every single day. Nothing ever goes hundred percent according to plan, but it, it comes down to how you handle it as a, as a leader, as an individual, um, as any team member on our, on our project, you, you have to have constructive criticism uh, you have to be able to take a tongue lashing once in a while from, from all different directions. You know, I, I get it as a, as an owner, as a GC once in a while, we have to unleash it on someone else, but, but we all have a very intense mutual respect for everyone on our site. It allows us to function a, as well as we do as efficiently as we, as we are. And it, it keeps us whole.